Thank you for your question. This is not an isolated issue concerning Laodicea. Remember, in the Old Testament, we have references to other books that have disappeared from history, the Books of Wars, or the Midrash, usually translated the Treaties of Edo, and so forth. There's references to other books, other literature in Scripture that we don't know where that literature is, but there are plain references to it. What we do know is this, Laodicea, Herapolis, and Colossae were essentially one extended Christian community. Those churches were all very close to each other. And uh, the, the believers would have known each other and so forth. In fact, they're even walking distance. I've been to this area a number of times. They're within walking distance of each other. Well, good walk, but it's a walking distance journey from one community, one church, one city to the other. What we do have is the epistle of Jesus to Laodicea. The epistle of Jesus to Laodicea in Revelation chapter 3. The Holy Spirit has made sure that that which is canonical and a basis of doctrine is included in the canon of Scripture. This other material that was in this other letter, whatever it contained that was of doctrinal authority is also contained somewhere else in the New Testament. In other words, it would have only reiterated other doctrinal truth if it had a doctrinal basis in it. Certainly, if something was lost to Laodicea, Jesus would have corrected it when he sent his own letter to Laodicea. So I would read this in light of Revelation chapter 3, verse 15. Jesus' letter to You froze up. Like this. Now, there are also things in Scripture that are referred to that we do have a record of in the historical literature, in the apocryphal literature. We see this in the Epistle of Jude with the references to Enoch, and we have First and Second Enoch. We certainly have First and Second Maccabees, providing the background to John chapter 10 and Daniel chapter 11. Uh, we have the book of Yasher, the book of Yasher, well worth reading. Um, to understand the book of Revelation from a literary perspective, it is well, well worth reading First and Second Enoch and First and Second Maccabees. But everything we need to know as doctrine, as canon, is in there. Other things are referred to, but any doctrinal material in the missing literature, as it were, or in the extra canonical literature, or deuterocanonical literature, as some call it, I wouldn't call it that, is found in the 66 books as we have them. Thank you so much. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, a questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. 
first being the dilemma of Laodicea. The dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be shadows of the beast. Shadows of the beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen, will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture, the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, the Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available in the Morial catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.